Welcome to the SPSS demonstration video for Chapter 10, Analysis of Variance. I'm the author of your text, Richard Landers. In this video, we'll be exploring analysis of variance and post hoc tests, uh, both of which are fairly easy to conduct in the context of SPSS. To conduct an ANOVA in this context, we're going to open up Analyze, Compare Means, One-Way ANOVA. In our Example problem, what we're comparing is the number of web designs versus, uh, versus uh, comparing a number of web designs on the number of seconds that people end up viewing those designs. So we'll put web design as our factor that indicates our grouping variable and seconds as our dependent. Next, we're going to open up the post hoc sub dialog and select which post hoc test we want to use. For the purposes of this test, we are using Sheffy's test. However, also quite common are the least significant difference named LSD and Tukey's test. After you selected the post hoc test that you wish to use, hit continue, and then OK. From this, we will it outputs the now familiar ANOVA summary table, which you should be uh, quite familiar with now, with our between and within group sum of squares and totals, uh, all the way up through our F statistic. We report from this F with uh, 3 and 18 degrees of freedom equals 10.263, which and P is equal to 0 0.00 or at least is less than 0 0.001. We can then scroll down to observe our post hoc tests. Note that if you did not find a statistically significant F statistic, you would not interpret this, this table, but since we did, we will. This gives each comparison, uh, each, each comparison between each set of groups. Uh, remember that we had to do this by hand for the text, uh, comparing each one individually and looking at each individual mean difference. Here, you can simply look for the presence of this little asterisk right here. The presence of this, this asterisk means that this comparison between design A and design B uh, and between design B and design D was statistically significant. And this should match the results that you found uh, when you conducted it by hand. The next step then is to look at homogeneous subsets as we mentioned, as, uh, mentioned in the text. You can see the same sort of output here uh, that we discuss in the book. You uh, also might be interested in computing effect sizes. You can, for example, compute eta squared by looking at sum of squares between divided by sum of squares total. Uh, it does not present this information for you. However, it is quite easy to calculate. Uh, and that's it. Everything else is presented for you in the context of one-way ANOVA. It is all available in this one simple pane of output. And that's it for Chapter 10.